So this is what we're making, a plain ring with a message to remind you to breathe. Simple. So this ring, sterling silver, seven millimeters wide, 0.7 of a millimeter thick, and my ring shank is 61 millimeters long. So cut your shank to length, file the ends, make sure they're flat, check them against the safe side of your file, and then anneal. So we just want to heat this until it's a dull red. Now you can use any torch for this. It doesn't really matter. Pretty much any torch for annealing. And you can also use any torch for soldering this one because it's so thin. So just a dull red. Quench it in water. Dry it off and we'll stamp it. So we'll get the center of the ring and then work either way. Now I'm putting uh, the word breathe on mine, and that is uh, seven letters. So I'll just mark it with the texture. And for me, the easy way is just to tape it onto my bench block. And I'm just going to use masking tape. Now, this piece of metal is roughly the same size as my stamp, so it's going to be fairly easy to center it. So. All I'm going to do is tape the ends. And I'm going to use a chasing hammer. And look at your stamps really well and make sure that they're right side up. So just line up your stamp, make sure it's straight up and down, and give it a good whack.
and we'll use the E twice. Now, we annealed it, and because we just stamped it in the middle, we should be able to just still bend it because it's still annealed in between the letters. So we'll just use our flat half round pliers, form it into an oval. Half round goes on the inside. Don't grab the very end or you'll damage the middle. And then just bring the two ends together. And we want them to fit as perfectly as possible. Take any twist out. And when you get it really close, we're ready to solder. So just work as much as you need to work to get it as perfect as possible. And oftentimes you can just use your thumbnail to make sure that you have the same height. Lovely. So now we'll solder. So I'm just going to hold this joint up in my third hand. Mix up your flux, make sure the water is incorporated. Flux it, top and bottom, inside and out, I guess I should say. So then I'm going to use a three millimeter long piece of hard solder. Place it with a flex brush. And I'm placing it so it touches both sides of the ring shank. Now I'm using a Smith's little torch, but you can use any torch for this. Just try not to heat the bottom of the ring shank. Try to keep your heat up here, which is easy enough to do if you come on an angle like this. So we're just going to warm that up. The flux will dry out and go clear, and then the solder will flow. Then I go back from underneath and flow it again. Lovely. Now we'll quench it in water. So out of the water, dry it off. Always make sure your metal's dry before you put it on anything that's made out of steel. So we're just going to slip this on our ring mandrel and round it up with the rawhide hammer. So I hold the ring mandrel in my hand and put a little bit of downward pressure on with my finger. Take the ring off, turn it around. Check that it's the right size. If it is, just use your sanding stick with 400 grade wet or dry paper. Tidy up your solder joint. And if you use the right amount of solder and you lined your edges up correctly, that's about all it will take. 
to tidy it up. Now, I didn't pickle this, so it's oxidized, so I'm just going to lightly sand it so you can see. Now you could use liver of sulfur or silver blackener, which is telluric acid normally, hydrochloric and telluric acid. Now, you could leave this flat, or you could make it anti-clastic. You could make it satin, or you could make it shiny. It's a very basic ring. It's up to you, whatever you want to do with it. We need to hallmark it. Now, round it up again, make sure it's round, because sometimes when you hallmark it, you'll make a flat spot in it. And those little flat spots, we can just tidy up with our sanding stick. So just sand following the curve of the ring. And that's it. To tidy up the inside, I just use a split mandrel on my handpiece with 400 grade paper. Always make sure that you keep this moving, otherwise you'll wear grooves. So we just want to flatten out the solder if there is any, and check that the side of the ring is nice and flat. You can go on your sanding stick or you can just put a piece of sandpaper on your bench. And you can just look and see, because it'll, it'll be a satin finish and it'll follow the ring right around. And where it's soldered, you shouldn't see a gap and you shouldn't see a difference. So at this point, it just depends on what you want to do with it, whether you want to leave it satin, whether you want to polish it, whether you want it anti-clastic, but it's just to remind you to breathe. Ciao.